have my audition today. I didn't sing it at all this morning. What? What are you doing? Nothing. You waiting for the school bus? Can you sing? Just put cue up that one part. And she had the smallest plain tail ever was. One droopy droop ever was all that she had. And oh, that one feather made. Shit, I have a 9 a.m. meeting in the studio with Jesse and Katie, the muralists, and the graduate students. Off to see the wizard. Is the meeting in here? I don't know anything. You don't know anything? I don't know anything. This part is so cool. I thought it was downstairs. Uh, I took I took out the up to meet down here because they're going to give a brief uh, presentation. Jesse Unterhalter and Katie Drew. Uh, they've been nice enough to uh, join us for a yeah. for a uh, workshop. Basically, I don't know if you guys show me. Do we basically paint murals? So that's what you guys are going to be doing. We're, I work similarly similarly to how Jesse and I work. So we have we have this this whole space, these these outside walls. Um, we're going to be coming to that you're going to be able to uh, live you know live with the uh, for better or worse. <laughs> Back to the studio for an hour. When drawing, I absolutely never allow the hand to become a slave to the brain. My hand is emancipated. So I've been diagramming out episode 57 over the last couple days. I diagram, I diagram out uh, each of the arguments that I'm making in a kind of branching logic tree. So for this episode, this is the argument that I'm attempting to make. This helps me think in a structured way. It helps me put my uh, argument together in a much more logical way. And oftentimes what I'll do is I will print these out larger so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So while there's a break in the action, I'm going to try and get that recorded. Hoodie time. Time to put on the hoodie. Go to the hoodie early. Won't you be my neighbor? The 1990s was a kind of golden age. The 1990s were a kind of golden age for graphic design. There was a kind of... When I look at work at the Tate Modern or the DIA as an example, the historically significant work that, that I respond positively to, I don't see this. I don't see this. What I see is this, right? The 1990s were a kind of golden age for the experimental wing of graphic. Blah, blah, blah. The 19. Blah. All right, let's be real about shit. Why did this? For the formalist avant garde, there was a kind of energy and a culture in place that fostered a type of work that's almost exclusively absent from the design scene today.
to the end of this episode and I'm going to provide an algorithm for the resurrection of formalist avant-garde. What were the factors that contributed to its death? And more importantly, is there an algorithm? Is there a series of steps that we can look at to try to resurrect that spirit? If you stick with me to the end of this episode, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna provide an algorithm. And more importantly, is there, a, is there an algorithm, a kind of formula? Who, who, who talks like that? So I've been trying to figure out why it is that I've been wrestling so mightily with finding the right words, finding uh, the right vocabulary to express the central idea behind what I had planned on being this episode's theme. I'm not talking about wrestling with the argument itself. I understand the argument. It's the language. It's it's the it's the 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 manner the 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 way to communicate <laughs> the ideas. couldn't figure out, you know, why it is that I, again, why I was struggling with this. And then it dawns on me that I, f I don't look backwards as a human being. I don't look at the past. And the, the theme of this episode, or the idea behind this episode was supposed to be a rumita uh, rumination. It's supposed to be a rumination on 1990s experimental or formalist avant-garde graphic design, but I, I kept lapsing into this kind of academic language. Neither one of those two terms is precise nor accurate enough, given that there was no scientific method governing the creation of largely typographically kind of academic mode. language that I think is precise, quite honestly, but I think is, uh, um, is, a, is a form of wanking. I kind of want to shave my head, get a chrome jumpsuit, change my name to Centrillion and live in the future. I'm not interested in looking backwards. So every time I would attempt to express some of these ideas, I kept thinking that the, that the, that the message of this, of this episode is gonna be completely misconstrued. I'm not romanticizing the 1990s in any way, shape or form. In the 90s, there was an experimental or avant-garde uh, wing of graphic design. Um, that that wing died, and you know there were a whole host of factors for why that died. And I think it's interesting to it would be interesting to try to look at what those factors are, and then to try to create an algorithm, 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 create an algorithm, create an algorithm a series of steps to drag forward or to bring forward in a kind of microculture. See, here I go again. Here I go. <laughs> to bring forward some of those characteristics.
meanings. One of the many things that I'm, I'm currently doing is translating that, you know, translating that into uh, a fine print. So, you know, here we see separation for a green plate, separation for a gray plate. Um, this uh, is and would be um, an opaque red, um, an opaque red plate. Uh, and then uh, this would be orange. And here we have here we have a uh, an opaque blue plate with a cream uh, with a cream ground. So if we take, take a look, look at these three paintings, one of the things that I, I one of the things that I spent the day doing was um, translating the, these these paintings uh, into the separations for the screen print. So if we if we look at if we look at uh, this black plate, you can see that what it's doing, or what it's attempting to do, is it's attempting to take the darkest levels of these pieces and extrapolate them or to convert them into a kind of navy blue uh, that'll be screen printed. And then there's a mezzo tint, there's a mezzo tint. Um, created from a photograph Oh, you do? The white is wet? I don't want to fuck your shit up, I just did I guess. I don't want to fuck your shit up. No, I'm fine. That's okay. What do you have to? This one? You're right here. Nice. Wow, this is the best. I look good. So basically, we made the lettering. Let me on the base. So the shape of this. Yeah, let's like make this flat. So we just the entrance. It's the whole point. So I made a like a direction to the end. Oh yeah. This was taken. This mezzo tent that you can see here. This very broad mezzo tent was actually taken from from the uh, tracing paper drawing from the trace drawing that that painting is based on. So here we see some of the layers of that trace drawing. So what I plan to do is I plan to take another crack at this 1990s experimental, this meditation on formalist avant-garde and experimentalism in 1990s graphic design. I'd like to think I didn't do all this work for nothing. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to take the diagram and find the right form to communicate the ideas rather than this ridiculously academic and overblown language that uh, is frustrating me. Who, who, who talks like that? But I'm gonna do it in the next episode and I'm gonna do it in a completely different way. I am not gonna do it. I know it's a ridiculous hat, but it's freezing in, in Michigan at this time. And I gotta get my run in. I keep that shit real health goth. And between runs, I got a shipment of absolutely beautiful paper. I'm gonna try super hard to find the right language, the right vocabulary for it, and you'd say, well, no shit, Elliot. No shit, Elliot. Isn't that the, the nature of trying to communicate? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So listen, listen, do me a favor. After the Wrong Thick episode, I received an excellent comment the uh, uh, cell phone below. Those things mean a lot to the growth of the channel. So by all means, please use the comment section below, smash the like button and subscribe. Those three things will help a ton. You can also at any given point, send me a video on your cell phone of any comments, questions, and concerns. I can't guarantee that I will use it, but I will seriously consider any videos that I receive that are Jermaine to the subject at hand in a comment response video. So again, smash the like button, subscribe, and I promise I will respond to each and every comment in the comment section below.